Hello, or should I say Kelly Spera? Hello, Cyprus. Hello, Greece. In recent days, as you know, Calamira has been rumored to be in talks with CYBC, that is the Cypriot broadcaster, to sing for Cyprus at Eurovision 2021. Yeleni Ferreira has now said that she does not want to participate, which sort of clears the path for the 2008 bronze medalist Calamira to potentially sing at Eurovision. With that in mind, I thought I would pause, you know, and re-watch her Eurovision 2008 performance, which is just one of my favorite of all time. I haven't seen it in months. Okay, days. Okay, hours. Maybe I watched it just before this because I'm obsessed. So let's re-watch and enjoy. Are you ready? <laughs> let's do this! Now, as all of you will know, she won her semi-final in 2008, actually beating both Sarusho and Dima Balan. Dima actually finished third in the semi-final. And then in the grand final, she finished behind Dima Balan and Shady Lady from Ukraine, Annie Lorak. Now, my personal reasoning here is that you had so many dance bangers that year. You had Kele Kele from Armenia. You had Shady Lady from Ukraine. And you had Secret Combination from Kalomira and Greece. And they were kind of competing for the same audience. They all had like a sort of ethnic undertone, total slayage, movement, bop. And then you had Dima Balan with this kind of like mid-tempo R&B, ballad, love, blah, blah, blah. And so he swept through, snatched the crown. He also, of course, is very well known in Russia and beyond and placed second in 2006. Anyways, this is all about Calomira. Let's watch. The song is Secret Combination, Hitting Palais. It's a big stage, my god. Big arena. Oh, ethnic, welcoming, traditional. Ooh, serving it. Yes, heads up. Ooh, from the darkness, let there be light. Calomira. Over the shoulder action. Oh, yes. The queen being lowered on a wooden stick. They could have splashed out a bit more. <laughs> oh, I see it, Calamira. Oh, I love how her shoulder straps, she has fake shoulder straps at the elbow, so it looks like her clothes fallen off, when in fact they are firmly in place. Skipping. Sweet Barbie, yet yeah, there's a sensual side. There's a deliberate dichotomy here. Oh. No, you are not a little girl. Hip action. I love the basket cinching around the waist. Blessed be the fruit. Basket's whole fruit, y'all. Yeah. Oh. This chorus instantly gripping. Simple choreography. You can remember it. Woo! She's gonna have whiplash after that. This is so good. Ooh! Backflip ancient Greece Olympics. She really pops in this purplish pink with the guys in black, but they also have pinkish lining inside their uh, jackets. Pink mist? Ooh, I've never noticed that. Even the mist matches her outfit. Very Elle Woods, Legally Blonde. Oh! She brings her own foliage, y'all. Her own book. Oh, that is an amazing costume reveal. Book opens, and now she's bedazzled. I knew those stilettos were gonna match something. Ooh, look at her, she's like, ah! <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, crack that coconut. You see a little knee move? From the Long Island to the world, Calomira. What I love about this is the choreography is very simple but very effective. You don't have to be a Beyonce in order to deliver some on point choreography. She's got all the attitude, all the sass. Sweet but sultry. It's a hard combination to strike. Ooh, spreading of the legs upside down. All these men, she is in control. Woman in control. Ooh. Wow. Ooh, her hips don't lie. They are telling the truth and they are saying a lie. Wow, she seriously needs insurance because her neck, I'm feeling for it. She's like, he? <laughs> yes. And there's the wind machine. Very subtle, not overdoing it. Wow. Oh, this is a New York action! That's Long Island! Love it. Love that the men are the accessories and she is the center of this universe. And ends up on top. Woman in control. No, thank you, Calamira. Thank you.
Oh wow, beautiful to see those Greek flags. You know what, for me, Calomira is like epitomizes Greece at Eurovision. They do so well when they build on their traditional music, update it for today, kind of just slaying on the streets. This is the kind of music you would hear, you know, at a street party, out the, outside the taverna, at the wedding. I, I don't, it's not cliche at all, and it's updated just enough for today. You know, that song's from 2008, but it still feels, you know, I can hear that at Eurovision now. Like, seriously, that is just so good. She's got the bubbly nature, the effervescence, the likability. You cannot dislike this woman. Like, watching that, I'm just like, please, let me come to your house, let's have some tea. She's just so warm, so inviting. I follow her on the gram. She's got three kids, two twins, and then another kid, a, a girl and two, two male twins, I believe. She's so sweet, she's so loving, and that comes through even in this sassy performance. She's a homemaker, she's a pop diva. Oh my goodness, mind is blood. But look, I'm gonna discuss her and her, you know, potential shot at Eurovision for Cyprus in a separate video, but I just wanted to react and like refresh my memory about why Calamira is such a queen and why in any other year she may have taken that trophy, okay? You know those years where we have lots of sad men singing ballads? That comes in and boom, she takes it. Oh, can we just talk about the lyrics? What I love about this song, and I mentioned this in my reaction, it's like she's, it is a cliche topic like love. How can you love me? How can you like win my heart? But she built it around this idea of a secret combination. She's not so easy. You gotta figure out wh which buttons to push. You gotta figure out the correct numbers. And she's very demanding. She's not gonna accept nobody. She ain't desperate. You gotta be kind. You gotta be warm. She's honest and she's true and you better be too. Cause if you, if you try and deceive Calamira, she's gonna do that little motion and send you on your way. We know she's literate. She's dancing inside of a book. She doesn't write the rules. Wait, she doesn't read the rules, she writes the rules. <laughs> In any case, I am still loving Calamira all these years later. What about you? Do you think she should have won Eurovision 2008? Do you think she didn't win because there were so many dance numbers? Do you still listen to Dima Balan's, Dima Balan's song? Let us know here on Wee Wee Vlogs. And while we're at it, you might as well scroll down below if you want to see her singing for Cyprus at Eurovision 2021 from Long Island to the world, Calomira! <laughs> we'll see you later. Bye!